All right, this is my buddy's SS Camaro. Uh, it's a 6.2 LS3 deal. Uh, stick shift car, pretty cool car. But I think it's, I think he said it's all stock other than just a cold air intake and it's got a basic tune on it already. But uh, I think he said it made, what did he say it made? He said it made almost 400 or close to 400, somewhere around there. So it made decent power already to the wheels. So now we're going to put a cam and springs in it. And then he's going to go get it tuned again and see what it makes then. His uh, end goal is to go turbo, <coughs> like over the winter. Mm -hmm. And I sold him a 78.75. And he said he wants to make 700 horse, which I think the 78.75 will, should do that, that it, it would be a really good turbo for that uh, power goal. And with this thing, it'll light up so fast. I mean, it's going to be a blast to drive for sure. That's a great video. Pound it. So I got the new cam in. Uh, <clears throat> I'm getting ready to put the front of the motor back together. And then I'll start doing valve springs. Uh, one thing I always change is the cam retainer plate because if these are worn at all that's a main like one of the main oil galleys if that red o-ring there is worn down at all it'll leak and you'll lose a lot of your oil pressure I think you can get them anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks online I'm trying to fetch this car for this guy today, so I just went and got what I could. And this Cell Pro one here locally was like 45 bucks. So. Always something small that could help you out in the long run. Might as well do it while you're there. <clears throat> well, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm working on this thing. I was making good progress and I was getting ready to start doing the rocker arms and all that. And I realized that his push rods were 7.45, which seemed odd because normally we run 7.4 unless there's something different about them. And I checked and sure enough, the, the stock ones were 7.4, but the ones that came with this kit were 7.45, so. I had to call the guy and I was like, well, we're kind of stuck at this point until we get push rods. And he's got a dyno session scheduled for Friday. It's Thursday. Well, actually, it's Friday morning now. Um, so luckily, I made a post and a guy had some. So it was an hour away. So I drove there and got him and came back and I'm going to try to put this thing back together for him so he can make his dino appointment. Well, it's 4 o'clock in the morning and it's on the ground. It's all done. I didn't record that last little bit just because I wanted to get the sucker done. Let these guys go home and sleep for a couple hours to get it tuned on the dyno today. Um, it fired up fine. Everything was good. Well, at first I didn't have three plug wires hooked up so that was nice. But, uh, we got the oil changed, everything put back together, fill it with antifreeze as much as I could. Um, yeah, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, so we can't really burp the system, all my neighbors be pissed, and all that. So, we'll send them on their way, and we'll keep you guys updated on how much power it makes. I'm pretty excited to see how it does. Sweet car, sounds awesome. But, uh, yeah, there it is.